welcome to my channel. So today I'm bringing you my killer kit video for the September Like Forever kit. I didn't do too bad on this one. I really didn't. So I do have one sheet of cardstock, which is less than normal for me because I don't use much coloured cardstock. Good going on that one. And then the sticker sheet. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the element stickers. Yeah, checking I counted it right. Um, which is a donut, which I couldn't find the right place to layer. A balloon, which I'm surprised I didn't use, but many were duplicated in the die cut pack. So I think I've probably used that one. Uh, a couple of arrows. And then I have used the alphabet a couple of times. And then I've got some of the little, tiny little word stickers. Not many though. So what I am likely to do with this one, I must admit, is I'm probably going to cut the alphabet out and keep that in my bits and then possibly let my daughter have these little bits. Because if I keep hold of too many little bits, I'll drive myself batty. Papers. I'm on scraps. I don't even have enough, like this one couldn't quite go into a 3x4 because of the chopped off bit. I mean, maybe I could have made it work, but not enough. I have the branding strips. Um, I don't think I used any of the branding strips this time. Oh, that looks like it's a strip off the actual paper. Look, I'm losing stickers. Um, so yeah, like a branding strips. But, you know, if they get used, it's always a bonus. And then it's just scraps. Like most of them have had die cut bits cut out and hearts and, yeah. So, scraps of paper. So, they are all going to go because you can only keep so much. Done. The sequin puffy stickers. I did rather well. I know I did have these in my stash, but there are a very, very few colours in these. So these are probably going to clip up. I've, I've, well, I need to rearrange it properly, but I've got like a little Ikea hanging rail with some little S hooks on. And I've just kept popping up, up above me. Things that only have a couple of bits, just so that I try and use them. So that'll probably go up on there. Then I have the washi, but I did use it. So that's always a plus. So kit bits wise, we've got these. Die cuts. Now you get gazillions, but die cuts wise, I don't really have many left at all. I'm not sure whether I'm going to sort through these and keep just the bits I think I'll use or whether to sort of start a little die cuts bowl trying to use it up I'm not quite sure but considering there was 86 pieces to begin with I've done rather well I'm quite proud of myself to only have these few bits and not a paper clip in sight so yeah, that's the die cut pieces. So if I can get them to move out the way. So that's those. And then I didn't use any of the wood bits. I don't know why. Because I do like wood. I think it's because I can't colour them as well. So I do still have the wood pieces from the kit. Um, well, my original left over but I have used them on a layout before so it was sort of adding from my stash as well as kit bits so that's what I have left from the kit itself which as I say I think I've done rather well considering how behind I am as well I've done rather well non kit bit wise I added in these two sets of thickers of which I've used some of each which for this pack is better than it was originally because I'd used none. Um, I may have even not used any of these either. So yeah, to actually have used a few of those thickers as well, considering I used 
some of these I'm happy then I have the L Studio Everyday Label Puffy Stickers, of which I used one. Well, that's one that looks good on a layout. I used three stickers off this sheet. So it's, it's made a start. Now, I didn't use any of the jelly bean soup. Maybe it's time to say goodbye to these. They seem to appear a lot, don't they? Maybe I should just put them into hiding. I don't think I used any of these either. Maybe I did just add too many in with all them die cuts. I used one. One pink heart. Oh. And then I used two of the chipboard cork, sorry, cork pieces on my Project Life layout. So that's a start with those. I used a couple of the dots, by the looks of it, three. So that's not bad going. I didn't use any of these acetate pieces. I kept forgetting they were there. So they'll end up back in my stash. Um, I used one of these little rubber words. So I haven't put these back in the packaging. They'll just probably go into my grey box. The L Studio die cut pack which I've just found the big tag I think I only use one and that's if I did use one. Oh, I used one of these little grey ones down here and I think that was it I think putting a die cut pack in just wasn't worth it with all the amount of die cuts that we got in the pack itself maybe I should save those for a kit where we don't get ephemera and then lastly, the Studio Calico Little Weird Words, which are really weird. Like, how many times do I want boy in pink? Um, I did find it quite hard to use some of these because there's some really, really weird words in it. Like top and head and hush. Like, how often are you going to use those? Pocket. How often do you put just the word pocket on a page? Like, I couldn't really make sentences either. So, yeah, they're going to be my um, challenge. I don't think those will ever be completely used up. Um, but I did use a few. So they were worth having in. I probably favoured those over the wooden ones, even though the words in those ones are worse. But I like the touch of pink. So anyway, that's what I have left. So all that will go back into my stash. My daughter will gain a couple of stickers. Probably not much more. But hey... She doesn't pay for it. Uh, so yeah, have a look and check out below. Most of the things I've created with this kit are just in the layout share. But there are two process videos for you to have a gander at if you want to see some stuff. And hopefully I'll be able to get some more up very soon. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.